Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, EA's back on their business. After yesterday's content, they literally just proved to us that one aspect of Ultimate Team is going to be more important than ever this year of EAFC 24. I want to break that down with you guys today and of course look at the market that is exploding as expected as a lot of coins have come in after squad battle rewards and prices are going up like crazy across the board. And then what's going to happen today on Monday with the market, with content? Will we get our first upgrade pack SBCs of the year? I think there's actually possibility for that. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go back to yesterday really quick because we did have content yesterday in the form of SBCs and objectives and multiple objectives. But first of all, for SBCs, Third day in a row of a player SBC, guys. Kevin De Bruyne, James Madison, and now Chuba Akpom Squad Foundations card. And really, all that I see in this SBC is a proof that the James Madison SBC is the best value one that we have gotten in this game so far. This card is 3-star, three 3-star. Three does have the 90 pace. You might remember him for his 94-rated team in the season card that we annoyingly packed like every other 85 times 10 just about a month ago on FIFA 23. But Akpom is a part of all of the players that were least with Eredivisie links uh, also of course tied to the objectives I believe it's in the foundations tab or I, I, I struggled finding this earlier there's so many objectives and stuff in here now I think it's seasonal right no it's in milestones yeah it's in milestones for sure you go down and you find the um, f foundations for the Eredivisie oh it's all the way at the bottom EA Sort by priority, uh, sort by expiry. Okay, that's nice. Now it shows at the top. Okay, see, I learned something new about objectives today. Now, here's the thing you need to know about squad foundations, air divisi. If you didn't know already, it's probably not worth doing unless you're a fan of the air divisi. The cards don't look that great. Silicon, okay, uh, small left back with 80 pace, okay. Uh, and then you do get a dry wet card for uh, an air divisi left mid with 92 pace, which out of all the cards. This one looks the best, and it just doesn't even look that amazing. So, guys, this Foundations for uh, Air Divisie doesn't look that great to me, but if you want to grind it, you can. And that, to me, was just kind of mid-content. Yesterday was one of the most mid-content days that we've had, but, of course, we have to have those now and again. Not every day is going to be a 10 out of 10 content day. That's just not the way the EA runs this game and probably really not how it would work. Anyways, we had some friendly objectives that were dropped as well. The Evo Lounge, which I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't think I'm touching this objective. For an 83 times 2, there's no XP in here. The 75 plus packs for winning 7, playing 7, win 3, uh, and win 1, I'm not about it. Really, I would just rather play Rivals and get myself leveled up for better rewards, work towards more milestone rewards or season rewards in Rivals, and get a higher division, right? Get my 8 wins in per week at the first 3, then the next uh, ones so that I can get all the rewards I possibly can, especially with this weekend of Foot Champs coming up. Yes, guys, this weekend, Foot Champs is going to be live and active. We got to get qualification points up and ready so that we can get into Foot Champs for the best rewards possible. So I think I'm skipping that um, friendly mode personally. I'm just going to be playing some rivals this week to be getting my leveling up going on there. Now, of course, the real content yesterday was the market rise, right? And we talked about it extensively in yesterday's video. So it's not a real big surprise to see players like Rafael Leao and all these other cards exploding in price. Leao's 170,000 coins. We've been looking at him a lot on the YouTube videos recently. Rofo is one that absolutely exploded yesterday, right? And a lot of graphs looked like this. You saw prices rising up to squad battle rewards, and when those rewards came out, just like expected, we had a massive, massive rise. Now, Rofo actually went back down to 40k and has just been kind of slowly rising ever since and just had another spike to 60 thousand coins if you take a look at some of the cards that are up the most in the last 24 hours rolfo is one of those you've also got cascarino who i have a couple of on my transfer list debina inform Lewandowski, pedri uh and then some icons and heroes in there as well kunde is 170 000 coins right now on this game what was kunde yesterday before rewards 120k guys the market on the top tier meta is absolutely exploding. Now, of course, as we also mentioned in yesterday's video, there was definitely going to be some players that didn't move that much because they were just going to get packed more, um, and that means they were going to get supplied more. Maybe people were upgrading from a player like the Alex Balde type, or, I mean, even Leroy Sané, who... 
I potentially thought about investing in because he did really, really good earlier, like on Friday. I think even on uh, on Saturday, he had really good fluctuations. Yesterday on Sunday, he did go from 11K to 14, but you can just tell that this is maybe a card people don't have to spend coins for as much now because they've gotten their coins upgraded, their teams are getting better, and a lot more people, even Chamani, like didn't move at all yesterday on the market. A lot of people are going out and buying cards like this, like Diaby 71k last night. I remember tweeting about him, right? And he was like 56, 57,000 coins and he had a big time spike up yesterday. That's how a lot of the graphs look right now. Guys, even SBC fodder is going up a lot. There's a couple reasons for that. We'll talk about that a bit more later, but look at 88 rated Bernardo Silva. He's not going up really because people are using him that much. He's going up because people are doing SBCs, AKA the KDB SBC really is what a lot of people are doing right now. So as of course expected, the market is flying. Prices are going up everywhere. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the market into today on Monday as we get towards that portion of the video. Cause I do have some thoughts about when is the sell time? Like we've seen prices go up. They're probably just gonna keep going up for the next couple of days. When do we need to think about selling? Is it now? I really don't think so, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Now also with yesterday's content and the main point that I wanna make to you guys in the video today is EA really showed their true colors once again yesterday. Of course, on Friday, we were all surprised when we went here into the store and we saw not just promo packs, but we saw a 175,000 coin essential starter pack and EA upped their ante yesterday with an even bigger pack. Guys, there are 450,000 coins worth of store packs for the first weekend on the game right now on EA FC 24. And we only have a... Um, partial portion of the entire player base on this game. Think about it. The full release is this coming Friday, five days away. We don't even have the full user base on this game yet, and EA is selling out with packs this much already. I mean, these are crazy packs that we usually, in past FIFAs, like FIFA 22 and even FIFA 23, I mean, we had the crazy 500k pack during Black Friday, which was like absolutely massive, but how many packs like this did we have last year at the beginning of FIFA 23? Like, this often at this early stage of the game we didn't have them man these were kind of a thing of the second half of the game where the store packs were really crazy and ea is starting it very early this year guys they're going after the bag we know that ea chased the bag and we also know that ea ups the level of the content year over year on this game so it just seems to get crazier and crazier every year i mean think about it we've got 83 times tens in the first season rewards of the year like that's honestly kind of crazy in its own right to have that good of packs this early on in the game, right? Remember when we had those preseason rewards that we're gonna be getting here in the next couple of weeks from uh, pre from preseason in FIFA 23 over into uh, FC 24 now. Who am I packing right now? 84 rated, okay, just making sure. Um, you know, an 82 times 10 seemed really crazy for that, but, but is it really, is it actually that crazy? I mean, when we look at all the packs that we have right now in this game, it doesn't really seem like it is that crazy, but I cannot believe they dropped this 275k pack. Guys, don't spend your coins on this, man. This is the biggest message that I learned from this. Number one, EA is going all out. They're chasing the bag. Number two, coins are going to be more precious than ever before at the rate that we are going right now, because maybe not as much right now, because people know that coins are precious and they don't want to go spend 175 or 275,000 coins on one of these store packs. I think a lot of people that are opening these packs right now are probably using FC points. So it's money out of the pocket, which is not bad if that's what you want to do. But spending coins on these packs is like really detrimental to your success throughout, at least if you're planning on playing ultimate team for a couple months down the line, and you're not going to put a lot of money in and you're running an RTG, and you're wanting to be careful with your coins in that manner. These are not really good to open with your coins because I mean, you have to trade really hard to get those coins back, especially at this stage of the year where how many people can afford these right now, even with the number of coins that we have. So guys, coins are going to be more precious than ever this year based off of the packs that I see in the store because EA is going to drain so many coins through those because a lot of people don't understand. Yeah, it's fun to open a pack like that, but then when you don't have coins to do other SBCs, which also it seems to be three player SBCs on three days of content in FC24 already. They're up in the ante of SBCs and the packs in the store. 
Train coins are going to be drained so often and so fast through those different areas on this game. We just have to be careful, guys, right? And I know we say this every year, and it's something that we talk about a lot in the early to middle stages of the Ultimate Team cycle is being careful with your coins and just thinking through where you're going to spend, what SBCs you're going to do, what's smart to do, what's not smart to do, and stuff like that. And it's going to be really, really important this year, guys, based off of all the insane opportunities that EA are going to give us to waste our coins on something that is fun. But if you're doing that all the time and you're not replacing those coins back in, you are going to run out of coins so fast. And when you run out of coins, there's not a lot of fun. So that's the biggest point I wanted to make for uh, to you guys today is, is just look at the store content, look at the SBC content, look at your coins and say, I need to be careful because coins are king like always. Now, speaking of SBC content, I want to talk about today on Monday because... You know, we love upgrade packs, right? We like the upgrade packs that are cheap, that are repeatable, that give us an opportunity to A, craft, and B, maybe pack something that is in packs during a normal bigger promo. Now, of course, right now, we've only got five different players that are in packs. So if we get upgrade packs today, which I actually think there's a decent opportunity that we would, guys. We've had, what, 80 plus doubles and 78 plus doubles inside of the objective rewards. I'm pretty sure last year, the first upgrade packs, yeah, 80 plus double right here. And the 78 plus double was, I don't even know where it was, somewhere inside of here uh, in objectives. But we had our first upgrade packs for ones to watch and Mondays are upgrade pack days. I would not be surprised if we had something today, uh, whether it's in 78 plus times two, that seems probably the most likely thing that they would drop. Maybe even like a 78 plus player pick is a potential SBC they could put out as well. They know that people like upgrade packs. I think there's a potential of that today. And I'll be honest, if the upgrade packs are halfway decent value, the SBCs right now I mean, if you want to do KDB or if you want to do James Madison, which I would recommend Madison first, but I'm hearing a lot of good things about KDB. And obviously, a lot of people are doing KDB at the moment. I think the reason people are doing KDB is because the fodder packs and objectives are great. If you're playing the game, which today I'm going to be opening my 83 times 10 on stream because I'm 200 XP away. I'll get that XP open it on stream, but it's that pack is the 80 times 10. It's all the rewards that you get from the mad ready, right? You get the 85 double and 80 times two and 81 times two, some player picks and other packs along the way. There's a lot of good fodder that you can just get from grinding the game right now, not to mention squad battle rewards that were tradable yesterday. As we mentioned, fodder prices are going up, but just look how much they're going up, guys. This is the graph of pop yesterday. Once again, 14,000 coins all the way to 18k that we are now 87s are 12,000 coins this is how much 88s were on friday they went from 9k all the way to 12k a lot of people have actually started to invest in 84s because the content has been so good a lot of people have started to buy 84s on bid at 1100 that is the lowest you can get 84s at on the market is 1100 coins and i'll be the first to say guys i don't hate that investment um it's just going to come down to are you trying to make coins right now or are you okay saying all right yes i'm buying a lukaku for 1100 coins that i'll maybe be able to put uh, on my transfer list people are even bidding them up to 1.3k it looks like people are probably like trying to go on a sign and buy a bunch of 84s as a fodder investment just to hold on to. Um, but it's kind of like maybe there's an SBC that EA would drop today or tomorrow to make the 84s go up. It had to be probably a player SBC. I wouldn't expect like an icon or a hero upgrade pack this early on in the game. But if EA were to drop another SBC, maybe 84s go up. But also it could be like a week before those go up with, you know, an SBC for like the Road to the Knockouts promo that is coming. Yes, this Friday. No one's to watch this year, guys. Once again, it is Road to the Knockouts. That is the next promo that is upcoming and we'll talk about that later on this week for sure so that's an investment you could make if you wanted to right now but let's talk about the market a bit more because you can see my coins are very down with the market being the way that it is it's been really good to trade in i made some investments um last night i bought some guru retins um and i also picked up some some cascarinos right i bought some guru retins at about 27 26 to 27 k and cascarinos were about thirteen thousand coins cascarinos like 21k now and guru retin is uh like 37 or 35 so rising nicely maybe not as crazy as some of the other cards that are on the market at the moment but uh for a lot of those Guys, I think I'm just holding. Like, I mean, uh, you guys know a lot of these prices have just continued to rise. And I don't see a reason for them to drop 
today on this game and if we talk about the market today on monday normally mondays are a really good day for the market but usually on mondays we also get weekend league rewards paid out we don't have that today so it's kind of like a quiet day compared to the last couple that we have had we're definitely not going to see in my opinion as crazy as a spike on all cards like we did yesterday with squad battle rewards the uh, the expected coin influx and also the packs that were opened making those prices go up as people went out and bought stuff with the newfound coins i don't expect anything crazy like this today but maybe it's something just kind of like a slow rise throughout the day for a, a lot of these top tier meta cards that i think people are still being able to get coins and afford and they're buying and that's why you're seeing these prices go up um, and a lot of these cards now are like okay now we're seeing cards get to the prices that they maybe should be but still some of them i think are undervalued in the grand scheme of things like and kunku at 98,000 coins being 10k more than antoine griezmann with the chelsea links the five star skills yes i know he was 70,000 coins but i still believe that in the next couple weeks this card's probably going to hit like 150k or at least 125 or 130,000 coins right I think that's the true worth of a card like that I think Griezmann should be over 100k so I still think there is room for this market to grow it all just depends if people are going to be fearful of what's coming later on this week which I think as of right now there shouldn't be a lot of fear around that and unless we get some crazy content again today which would be tradable supply hitting the market um, and which even with tradable supply hitting the market in the past couple of days, guys, with the packs refreshing in the store and even tradable SBC packs dropped in the SBC section, prices maybe just dip for a little bit, but then just continue to go back up. So right now I see no worries uh, for the market. The only real worry you have is that people deciding, okay, prices are too high and then they start to sell, right? So for me, I'm probably going to continue to hold on to just about everything that I have, still make really good quick flips out there and try to trade some cards. I wouldn't be worried about selling a card, especially if you got something that's really cheap, right? Like if you bought a Diaby for your team at like 50,000 coins, and of course now Diaby is 75K, it's like, all right, is Diaby going to be 75k for forever? No. But is he still way up in price and he's in my team and I'm using him? Yes. Then just hold on to him, that sort of thing. So I still think prices are going to go up today. I'm not worried about that at all. But as we head throughout the rest of the week this week, we'll have to see if anything changes along those lines. And if people start to panic for whatever reason, we will be watching that very, very closely but be careful at content drop today there could be some more dips and maybe that's just an opportunity to buy like we saw with rolfo yesterday i believe and this was on other cards as well but at content time she went from 42k back down to 40 and then zoop right back up so you know stuff like that could happen today actually it happened with sam kerr as well i was watching her gold card and the nike item i flipped the nike item yesterday um on her card she went down at content to like 290 and then boom right back up to 320 and she's now even 340,000 coins the gold sam kerr uh was down here at like 274 now up at 303 just got undercut right there that'd be actually be a really good buy i think if i had enough coins to buy a sam kerr i would probably pick this one up because 290 i can probably sell that at like 330 in the, the coming hours yeah there's actually three of them there but look i'm searching at 330,000 coins it's these three cards on the market to 330 and uh yeah that's pretty crazy these cards just keep going up in value which is not really a surprise it is just kind of fun and crazy to see them go up that much in value on the market right now so that's the video for today guys um we will be having another video coming out today on some trading methods i know a lot of you guys want to grind you're like nate what is what are these cards you're selling for like a thousand coins how are you selling them for this i mean what'd you buy them for hint i bought all these non-rares for 350 it's the sbc solution trading method it's slowing down a bit but i want to make a video talking about some of the best ways you can grind and trade on the market right now there's a lot of methods there's a lot of places where you can invest and move coins around this game and uh yeah the coin total keeps rising it keeps going up and hopefully that is the case throughout the week this week we'll be on top of the market and hopefully today ea give us a couple upgrade packs because i'd be down for some 78 pluses at least not just to pack the mad ready cards maybe to pack a team of the week or maybe to pack like an 84 rated um you know what's well the rafael veron we were just looking at what is veron's rating isn't he like 84 85 okay but you know the potential of packing something like that or an alfonso davies just in one of those 78 plus upgrade packs you never know what could happen so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy it smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nate for the count see you guys in the stream today peace